Good protection underneath. Haskins again doesn't get it. Jaguars take over. And Aloha Khan was there again for Jacksonville. Well, just the inexperience of Josh Dobbs. You can't make that throw. But keep an eye on Akine right here. As he goes down the field, Dobbs has some time. And you've got to just turn this one loose. Here he comes. He's going to come around right here, and he's going to have a clean window in order to be, I mean, a big window. And he had time in the pocket with protection and just unable to make the play. Excuse me, that was Traylon Burks. And Dobbs threw short, hoping Haskins could pick it up, and he could not. And now one timeout remains for Tennessee with a minute 30 to go in that victory formation for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Off game for them. And the, the offense did enough, and the defense, when it mattered most, was able to come up with the big play. You see Trevor Lawrence. You know, he came into this game in the way he's been rolling, thinking maybe tonight. And they allowed just three second-half points. Lawrence takes a knee. And the Titans look like they're going to let it go. A team that had won four games total over the last two years. And Doug Peterson told us, I want to win this for shot. Shad Khan in his 11th year as owner here with the Jaguars, beloved, willing to spend, dying to win. In nine of the previous 10 years, he had had losing seasons, just the one winning year in 2017 when they went to the AFC champ game. And they've done it. Jaguars have won the AFC South. And they'll go into the postseason having won five straight. Trevor, welcome to the playoffs. How's that sound to you? Sounds great. Sounds really, really good. Oh, uh, man, it's just it's hard to sum up this season and what we've been able to do and to get an opportunity to go play in the playoffs. Another home game here. I mean, we're fired up. You had a moment with Doug Peterson just saying, what did your coach say to you? He said, great job, man. We're going. We're in. I saw him, I told him I love him, man. I'm so appreciative of him. Um, really, our whole staff, all of our players, got a lot of love for, for this whole team. And uh, it's been it's been a fun ride, and we're going to keep going next week. Your defense really came up big for you. What was your reaction from the bench when you saw them get that forced fumble and the scoop and score? I mean, it's huge. You know, they won the game for us. You know, offensively, you know, we, we had some spurts where we, were, where we were rolling, but we just couldn't keep it going. And this is one of those games where our defense had to win it for us. And, you know, us, on, us guys on offense were a little frustrated because we left a lot out there. But... And these games just win, and, and our defense uh, picked us up today, and uh, they, they played great. You guys were three and seven. Just what turned around for you guys? You've now won six in a row. Just kept believing. Yeah, we just just kept believing. Uh, nobody ever lost faith. Everyone believed in one another. We never started pointing the finger. We lost five games straight, and we just, we just got tighter. And then you know after the bye week, we corrected some things, and we started rolling. And uh, it's cool to see a team come together like we have, and we're just excited to get another opportunity next week. For you as a quarterback, how have you grown since then that you think should be able to help you as you prepare for your first taste of the postseason? You know, I think personally I've grown a lot this year. You know, just on the field, obviously, learned a lot, seen a lot more ball. Um, and then just as an offense, I think we've taken huge steps at, over the year and just, you know, whether it's passing game, rushing game, whatever it is, just our communication, our chemistry is really, really good right now. And uh, we got to keep it rolling. We got to make a lot of corrections, though. We didn't we didn't play anywhere close to our best ball tonight. And we got to help our defense out. But we're excited to be to get a shot. Trevor, it's been an emotional week for everyone, for 
every team in the NFL uh, dealing with what happened to DeMar Hamlin. How were you guys able to navigate through all that and come out here and get this result? I mean, just, you know, th things, obviously, what happened on Monday is uh, tough to see, but just the way our guys kind of rally around each other, same like I was talking about when season wasn't going great. Uh, same thing when, when a tragedy happens like that, it really puts things into perspective, and we're just really thankful for what we get to do every day. And, this game is a dangerous sport, and it's, it, it, I mean, it's, it's terrible to see things like that, but we're blessed to play this game, and um, the people that it brings together, we're just really thankful for one another, and I think that put that into perspective for us and how grateful we are for it. Thank you, Trevor. Congratulations to you. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. He is a thoughtful young man, 23 years old in his second year. Jaguars went 1 and 15 in 2020, got the number one pick, selected him 3 and 14 last year, and they went to the steady hand of Doug Peterson, who won it all with the Eagles in the 2017 season. And he told us this young team has energized him, Doug Peterson and Shot Khan, who was willing to spend whatever it would take to get a win.